Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take course content that you've already created and transport that into another course. So you can literally use what you've already created in multiple different courses. It will save you time and it will really allow you to use something more than just once. So let's get started. The first thing you're seeing right here is just an old shell that I'm going to show you from an old class that I have, but there's nothing created in here. So you'll see this home page is blank as if you were starting from scratch. Now, say I already have a home page that I've already created and I want to put it into this and just use it from another class. Say you teach multiple sections of the same course. Now there are a couple of things that you can do. I'm gonna show you a couple of options that you have for the home page first, and then I'll show you for different modules, and then I'll show you how you can take an entire course and put it entirely in a different course. So let's get started. Go down to your settings here on the far left. You wanna be in the course that you want to add to. Go down to settings at the very bottom left-hand corner, on the far right hand corner over here, you're going to see import course content, export course content, reset course content, a few other things over here as well. You want to import course content because I want to use a home page from another class into this one. You get to this selection here. You want to select copy a canvas course. You have many other options here, but I'm just gonna give you the basics at first so you can utilize it right now while you're creating multiple classes. So copy a Canvas course. Then you wanna select the course. So select the course that you're wanting to use from, let's say I'm going to use the home page from, sure, we'll use that one. Okay, so you select it what you want. You also want to click this little box here, include completed courses if it isn't already ticked because this will showcase all of the courses that you have already taught, even if they're not, you're not teaching them anymore. For example, you can see here that I've got fall, spring, spring, summer, winter, all of my courses that I've ever taught in Canvas are listed by ticking that box. Now here's where it gets really interesting and you have multiple options. Do you want to do all of the content, transport all of the content from that course to this new shell? which you can definitely do if you're teaching the same section, that is a good choice to do. Or you can select specific course content. For example, I just wanna use a homepage from another class that I've already created and taken the time to do. You can also adjust dates and events, uh, due dates, if you want to, if you're doing all content, I would suggest that, but just focusing on the homepage right now. So I wanna go ahead and click import, and there's another step after you do that. It doesn't automatically import. See over here, it says waiting for selection. They're waiting for me to pick what content I want to utilize. So go to the blue button on the right, select content, click on that, and you will see all of the content that you have available that you've already created. Now, for example, I want the home page. Now, most of the time it's not going to pop up here and say home page. So I want to look within my pages for that because again, it was just a page that I created and said, I want it to be my home page. If you click the arrow on the left side, it will pop down all of the pages that you have created before. So what's really great is most of the time it's gonna be on the top because it's going to list these in order of either your creation or how you have the, the pages set up on your modules. So look, right here's my welcome page. So welcome to intro. I'm gonna click that because that's the home page that I wanna use. At the bottom right hand corner over here, you can see, I'll move my head. You see it says select content. That's the one I want. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna select that content. And you can see now that it says running and it will tick this up when it's done. It's completed. Great. Now I wanna go back and I wanna find that. It might, let's see, see how it's not automatically going to the home page. That's because again, like we did in the creation of a home page tutorial that I did, I'll link it up in the cards if you missed it. But now we want to go to that page and we want to tell it to be our home page. So see it says front page. It's already incorporated as our front page. Now we want to go to our home page and we want to tell it to be our home page. So that means you want to go to the right over here, choose home page, click on that, and then it should already be the front pages. Click on that and then boom, I have the entire home page that I've already taken the time to create. 
Um, these are old links, that's why they don't really work anymore. But I, the entire homepage that I've already spent so much time creating, it's right here so quickly. Okay, now, the next thing I wanna show you is how to take course content, like a module, and use that module for another class. And here's an example, this is actually what I'm working on right now for one of my classes. So in one of my classes, I have here, I want to take this module that I've just created. So this unit three module, I want to take this entire unit and I want to put this unit into another class that's the same section. So I want to choose the class again that I want to import the content in, go down to the left hand side for settings, go to the far right for import course content, click on that. Okay, so now I'm focusing on just utilizing a module that I've already created from one class to another. Copy a Canvas course, click that. I want to again search for the course. So here I want to make sure, make sure you choose the right class and the right semester because they start to separate them. So I want to, my, the module that I want to pull from and import is from this class. So I click on it. Again, make sure you have this box ticked so you can see all your courses. Again, I'm just wanting to pull that one module that I have, so I'm going to click Specific Content, click Import. Again, it's going to say over here, Waiting for Selection. So this is the one I'm waiting on is this top one right here. I want to select Content, so I'm going to click on that. Again, all of my everything's pulled up over here that I can pull from. You can pull from old assignments. You can pull from modules, you can pull from anything else that you want, but I want to pull this Sondheim module. And you'll see that it clicks the whole module, not separate pages. If I just wanted one page from that module, I would go down here and I would click what pages I actually want. And I'm actually going to do that because I've already incorporated a few bits of the module already. So you could again, you could tick right here and click the whole module. But I'm actually, for my purposes, I'm, I just want a few of these pages. So I'm going to just click those because I don't need the other module, the other parts of the module. So I just want that. So there we go. I'm going to select what I want from here. And you could do multiple things at one time if you want as well. I'm going to select content. It is queued up and waiting for me. And then as soon as it says it's completed, it will be running and it's going to go through and I'm gonna wait for it. Okay, now it says it's completed. So I am going to go back and I am going to check and make sure and see where it went. So you can see it doesn't automatically go into the module. It's probably gonna pop down here into my pages. I'd wanna click view all pages and then it should be right here, absolutely. So now that it's in the page, those pages are in over here in my pages file within this course, I want to go ahead now and I want those pages, I want them to pop into this module. So I'm going to go over here to the plus sign on the top right, and I'm going to add page. And look, they're popped up right over here, ready for me to pull. I want this one, and let's see if they'll let me do multiple ones at a time. They do. I want to copy those, okay? So then you can, I like three indents for what I'm doing add item and boom look at that they're all right here just as i wanted them in my class from my other class that i'm working on right now and if i go over to modules right there it is where i wanted it so sometimes you have to do a little back end because if it's going to jump over as a page then you might have to go into your pages file make sure you view all pages the top left red hen button and they'll all be loaded in here then you just have to go and add them where you want. So if you want it in modules, you can add a new module or just click the plus sign, and then you can go over here and choose what you want, just like I talked about in the modules, how to create a module. I'll link that up in the cards for you in case you need it. But you can pull from anything that you have incorporated in here as well. So that is how you incorporate a either a homepage or a module. Here really quickly, this is how you're going to do an entire course in from one course to another. So say this is a class that's brand new, this is an empty, an empty Canvas course, but you've taught the class before, the exact same class, or it's very similar and you just want to edit a class you've already created. Go again down bottom left hand corner to your settings, far right side, import course content. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy a Canvas course just like we've just done. 
but now I want to choose a course that's the same. So let's say it's Intro to the Theater 3. I teach that course all the time online. And this is how I started off. So I want that Theater 3 course to, we're gonna pretend this is Theater 3 as well. I want to literally copy all of that content from that class and I wanna put it in here. I also want to click Adjust Events and Dates because it's going to be a different time. Now, unless you're teaching this course in the same quarter or the same semester, then you may not want to adjust any dates or times. But say you do, you would just go down here, beginning date, you want to change it to here, ending date, you want to change it to here, or you can substitute it, okay? But I don't want to do that, so I am going to not click that for whatever reason right now. All content, okay? I want to click import. Click import. It's queued. Now this one will automatically run on its own because you've told it you want to do the entire content and you want to put it in here. Okay, so it's complete now. That literally took three or four minutes to do. It did tell me there are a few issues. Sometimes this happens. It says a few things. The TED Talk won't work. The YouTube needs to be reset. The, my screen castomatic one that I did needs to be reset. Okay, that's not a problem. Those are a couple of videos that I'd probably delete and redo anyway. Now, if I go back to the home page, it should dee -dee 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 -dee, all be there. And it is. This was empty and now it's completely imported an old class course. Now be aware, what you're gonna wanna do first is go through and delete all of these old Canvas announcements if they're not gonna serve you because they're from a different class. But you may be able to utilize the same ones. Just go through, do a quick look at everything, make sure everything is there. Make sure your assignments are the same due dates. Make sure it all, you know, looks good. And then of course you always want to make sure that you have on the top right that you've clicked published. Okay, this class is unpublished right now because it's no longer in, in use. But make sure you click publish on the far right so your course is visible to your students. And then you can go through and everything should be here, everything that you've created for your entire class. Again, make sure everything is green, everything has dots. You'll wanna go through it all, make sure all of the quizzes and the assignments are all there, that everything looks good, that the due dates are right, that the open and close dates are right. But once you do that, you literally have an entire course. That's a great way to utilize content you've already created into other parts of your classes. I also like to pull modules from a, a history class into a performance class. It gives you a way to kind of facilitate even supplemental materials that you've already taken the time to create. Just take a gander at it before you publish it when you're creating entire course content from one to the other so you know that it's effective in the right date and whatnot. Okay, I hope this helps you. Happy creating modules and using what you already have created and spent so much time creating. I will see you in the next video. Bye.